Hello, welcome everyone. We're going to go over a mnemonic that I can honestly say has never failed me. It's going to help you know when to administer tetanus toxoid or tetanus immunoglobulin in situations where patients come into the clinic or the emergency department with lacerations or foreign objects in their eye, uh, they've stepped on a rusty nail, situations like that. So my hope in this uh, talk is that number one, this will be a simple mnemonic for you to learn. And second of all, I hope this will rid you of any doubts that you have had about answering such questions regarding tetanus toxoid and immunoglobulin administration. So with that said, let me show you this mnemonic. Let's do it. Here we go. So here's the basic stuff you need to know. So TD stands for tetanus diphtheria. So this is the vaccine itself or the booster. And then uh, TIG, so tetanus immunoglobulin. And this is the very specific neutralizing agent that will bind to the toxin and thus preventing it from attaching to nerves and wreaking havoc. So here's how the mnemonic works. So you think of the letter M because everything hinges on this letter, okay? And the first thing you need to determine uh, when somebody comes in with a wound is whether it's dirty or clean. If it's dirty, you're dealing with the left part of the M, and if it's clean, the right part of the M. And then the next question is, how many tetanus shots has this person had in their lifetime? If they've had three or more, you're going to be on the left lattermost part of the M or on the right lattermost part of the N. Okay? And if they don't know or if they've had less than three tetanus shots, you're going to be in the very middle of the M. And that's very important. So if a patient doesn't know if they've had tetanus shots, you have to assume that they've had less than three. All right? All right. And then finally, if they've had three or more tetanus shots, so you're, now you're on the lattermost parts of the M, not the middle, has it been greater than five years for a dirty wound or has it been more than 10 years for a clean wound? Now, I remember this by making the right lateral leg of the M just a little bit longer than the left lateral leg. So this is totally a visual mnemonic. So I hope that works for you. It, it works for me, but not everybody is individual mnemonic type, type things. So that's it. Okay, so that's all you have to remember. Now let's apply this to a few examples. So example number one, this is a 24-year-old who steps on a rusty nail and does not know his immunization history. So clean or dirty? So this is dirty. A rusty nail is always assumed to be dirty. Okay, now has the man had three or more tetanus shots in his life? Well, no, he has no idea, right? He doesn't remember. He's either drunk or he can't remember. We don't have record in the medical chart. So you have to assume that it's less than three. So now we're dealing with the middle of the M, and this leaves us with only one option, and that's to give this gentleman a tetanus booster and the tetanus immunoglobulin immediately. Well, first you're going to stabilize him, right? So ABCs. All right, easy, right? So next example, 35-year-old woman stabs herself with a kitchen knife. Her last tetanus booster was seven years ago. She had all her childhood vaccines. So clean or dirty? Clean, right? Well, probably clean. It's a kitchen knife, so I, I hope it's clean. Three or more tetanus shots? Yes. And has it been more than 10 years? No. So this woman does not need a tetanus booster and she definitely does not need the tetanus immunoglobulin. Let's do one more. So 65-year-old male with a dirty-looking stab wound with a knife. His last tetanus booster was nine years ago. He had all his childhood vaccines. Clean or dirty? Yes, dirty. Three or more tetanus shots? Yes. And has it been more than five years? Yes, it has. So this man needs a tetanus booster. He does not need the tetanus immunoglobulin. Why? Because he's had all three of the tetanus shots in his lifetime. All right. So that's simple, right? So I hope this works for you. It should. Again, I don't think this one has ever failed me. And I've seen these questions on my, my shelf exams, my step two, and my step 
three and you know you've seen these two so uh i hope this works thank you for joining and that's it that's all we have so until next time take care